Hello everyone. In this video, we will see some of the terms related to flying. So first, let us see what is mean by fluctuation of energy. So we will consider the stirring moment diagram of a single cylinder double acting steam engine. And this already we have seen it in the previous video. So this is a team mean, mean resisting torque. And this is the maximum torque we are getting and here it is zero value, minimum value. And the work done is a product of the turning moment and the angle turn. Therefore, the area of the turning moment diagram, this area, it represents the work done per revolution. Or we can say that this is the energy actually required to overcome this mean resisting torque but actually we are having an excess energy which is represented by this section capital B, B and the C. And when you consider this section we are having a deficiency in energy and that is represented by capital C, small c, D. And uh, so when we use this flywheel this excess energy will be stored in the flywheel and that energy will be released during this cycle. So we can see that there is a variation of energy above and below the mean resisting torque line and these are called the fluctuations of energy. The difference between the maximum and minimum energy is known as the maximum fluctuation energy. So we will see how to find out the maximum fluctuation of energy. So again we are considering a diagram, turning moment diagram and this is actually for a multi-cylinder engine. So this line it is representing the mean resisting torque. Here also we can see that some portions are above the mean resisting torque and some portions are below the mean resisting torque. So this portion represents the deficiency in energy and this portion represents the excess energy. So if we consider the energy of the flywheel at the point capital A as capital E, then I can write this energy at the point B as capital E plus A1 because A1 it is positive means excess energy that is plus A1. So what is the energy at C? That is equal to E plus A1 minus A2. That is the deficiency energy. And what is the energy at D? It is equal to E plus my, minus A2 plus A3. And at E, it is E plus A1 minus A2 plus A3 minus A4. And at the point F, it is capital E plus A1 minus A2 plus A3 minus A4 plus A5 and when it comes to the point G it will be equal to E plus A1 minus A2 plus A3 minus A4 plus A5 and minus A6. So at this point it has completed one cycle of operation so it has to be like that the energy possessed by this flywheel at the point A and the point G must be the same. So that means the energy at the point D is equal to the energy at the point A. Now in this, let us assume that the maximum energy is at the point B, that is E plus A1, and the minimum energy is at the point E, that is E plus A1 minus A2 plus A3 minus A4. So, we can write it as the fluctuation in energy, maximum fluctuation of energy, Delta E that is equal to maximum energy minus minimum energy. So maximum energy is E plus A1, minimum energy is E plus A1 minus A2 plus A3 minus A4. So finally we will be getting it as A2 minus A3 plus A4. This is the delta E or the maximum fluctuation energy. Now we will see what is mean by coefficient of fluctuation of energy. It is the ratio of the maximum fluctuation of energy and the work done per cycle. 
and it is represented as C suffix E. And we can find out the work done per cycle by this equation T B into theta. T B means it is a mean torque and theta is the current angle. And we can find out this T B using this equation P into 60 by 2 pi n or it is P by omega. And the work done per cycle can be calculated by this equation P into 60 divided by small n. P is the power, n here it is the number of working stock per minute. In the case of uh, two stock engine, it is capital N and four stock engine, it is capital N by 2. And theta is the angle term for steam engine or two stock engine, it is 2 pi. And four stock engine, the value of theta is equal to 4 pi. That is, the whole cycle is completed in two revolutions, complete revolutions. Now we see what is the mean by coefficient of fluctuation of speed. The difference between the maximum and minimum speed during a cycle is called the maximum fluctuation of speed. The ratio of the maximum fluctuation of speed to the mean speed is called the coefficient of fluctuation of speed. So let us uh, consider n1 and n2 as the maximum speed and minimum speed. Then the mean speed n can be written as n1 plus n2 by 2. In terms of angular speed, it can be written as omega 1 plus omega 2 by 2. And the coefficient of fluctuation of speed, as per definition, it is the difference between the maximum and minimum divided by the mean speed. Or in terms of angular speed, it is omega 1 minus omega 2 by omega. So here it is, coefficient of fluctuation of speed can be written as n1 minus n2 by n. But what is n? It is n1 plus n2 by 2. So the equation becomes 2 into n1 minus n2 divided by n1 plus n2. Or we can write it in terms of angular speed. It is omega 1 minus omega 2 by omega. That is equal to 2 into omega 1 minus omega 2 divided by omega 1 plus omega 2. Or in terms of linear velocity, it is V1 minus V2 divided by V is equal to 2 into V1 minus V2 divided by V1 plus V2. Now, we will find the energy stored in the flywheel. So, for that we will consider this flywheel. This is a radius of the flywheel. It is capital R and the M is the mass of the flywheel in kilograms and K is the radius of gravitation of the flywheel in meters. K means that is taken as the radius of the flywheel. So, if uh, we are having N1 and N2 as the maximum speed and the minimum speed, omega 1 and omega 2 as the maximum and minimum angular speeds, then the energy possessed by this flywheel can be found out by this equation that is E is equal to half I omega squared. Now, what is I? It is N K squared. So, the equation becomes E is equal to half m k square omega square. So, for the maximum condition, it becomes omega 1 and minimum condition, it becomes omega 2. So, I can write it as the fluctuation in energy delta E is equal to maximum kinetic energy minus minimum kinetic energy. So, maximum kinetic energy becomes what? Half of I into omega 1 square minus minimum kinetic energy becomes half of I omega 2 square. I can write it as half I into omega 1 square minus omega 2 square. Now this term can be expanded. That is written here omega 1 plus omega 2 into omega 1 minus omega 2. But what is omega 1 plus omega 2 by 2? It is omega. So I can write it as I omega into omega 1 minus omega 2. Or it can be written as I into omega square into omega 1 minus omega 2 divided by omega. You are multiplying and dividing this by the term omega. So I can write it as what is this omega 1 minus omega 2 by omega? That is equal to coefficient of fluctuation of speed. That is Cs. So I can write it as I omega square Cs. Or in terms of I can be written as M K square. So the equation becomes M K square omega square into C S. And uh, finally, this delta E can be written as 
m into r square into omega square into c s. Now what is r? We are replacing c with r. Both are same. So it is m into r. We can write it as m into v square into c s. So this is the terms related to flywheels. Thank you for watching. Thank you.